Okay, this is a demonstration video of the differences between the two new MarkEdit build options. So the two files, um, MarkEdit 7.5 will be available in two different types. Uh, and I'm going to show you quickly uh, page that, how, what this is going to look like. So uh, I've got a preview page here with no link set up yet. Uh, but it says eventually this consolidated builds link will be replaced with Windows build options. And when you click on that, you'll get a list of information about the different build options that are available. So Mark at 7.5 as a .NET application requires specific runtime files. And this has made um, it confusing for folks in terms of um, setting up a, a user only install. Um, or for folks who are in environments that are um, where they have no administrative rights, it might be difficult to get the program installed. Um, because unlike previous versions of MarkEdit, which used uh, the .NET framework that was put into um, Windows itself, MarkEdit is actually using <clears throat> the newer uh, .NET 5.x runtimes. And these aren't actually part of Windows proper. Um, they're being built outside of Windows so that they can be run across multiple um, operating systems. And given the Mark Edits run on Mac systems, it's, uh, it can run on Linux systems and Windows systems, it makes more sense um, from a development perspective and in, in my side um, to be using the non Windows only frameworks. And so this means that there are some dependencies that need to be installed the first time you uh, go through the application. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the two distinct different installation options and what, um, what are the differences between the two. And so we're going to start with what's called the consolidated installation. mode. So if you go through the list here, you'll see that on the right side here, there's some information about the consolidated information. And this video that I'm recording now will show up um, here in this link. So the consolidated installation build includes all of the dependencies that are necessary to run the application. So that would be the .NET uh, 5.x runtimes, um, the runtimes that uh, would be utilized if you were going to run connection uh, 2.63 and you wanted to use the, the MarkEdit um, connection integrations, as well as um, the consolidated build includes the installation uh, requirements to install either on a 32 or a 64 bit system, um, as well as uh, the logic that's needed in order to register um, the programming libraries in MarkEdit in case you have individuals that are uh, writing scripts. So that would be like uh, VB scripts or Python scripts or uh, Perl scripts um, or third party applications. I know there are a handful of applications that interact directly with the COM libraries. And so the COM library is a programming library in MarkEdit that uh, exposes uh, the Mark and the Z39.50 and SRU function. So, so those are really the, the, the parts that are that are in the consolidated installation build. So why you would, you would use that version. So if you have multiple users that are going to work on a system, um, and so they're each going to have their own login then you would have to use the consolidated build. The consolidated build is the only, it's the only option that allows for multiple users. And again, that's because if you're installing MarkEdit for multiple users, you have to have administrative permissions based on how Windows works. If you're using a 32-bit system, you're gonna have to use the consolidated build at this point because MarkEdit isn't compiled um, for user only um, for 32-bit systems. And I'll explain why that's the case. If your system is managed by your organization or your organization wants to manage the version of MarkEdit, they'll probably want to use the consolidated installation because that's going to allow them more options in terms of how to install the application, um, as well as it'll install the application in the traditional programs, files, directory, um, and handle the, the various uh, tasks that need to be done for administration. Um, you can install the consolidated build as just a user, um, and in the initial um, uh, rollout of MarkEdit 7.5, that's been what folks have done. Uh, the only caveat of that is in single user mode, when a user installs um, and installing the application itself doesn't require administrative rights. 
if the user hasn't installed the framework components, so the .NET 5.0 components, then Mark Edit's application will prompt you for um, an administrative password in order to install the runtime components required in order for the application to run. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and walk through um, the consolidated builds. So you can see what that looks like. So I went ahead and threw current consolidated build here. The consolidated build is called mixed. So this is on my, my USB drive. So go ahead and quickly uh, click on that. You'll see the consolidated build is uh, 213 megabytes um, for download. That's because the consolidated build includes all of the dependencies that would be used for either a 32 or a 64 root system. Uh, so the very first thing Mark Edit does is it attempts to see um, if the, uh, the runtime uh, processes are there. Um, if they are, then the application will um, move on to the next step and show you the, the wizard setup. If the uh, runtime components aren't present, then the application will prompt you for a um, username and a password uh, to install those runtime components. So we can go through here and I'm gonna install it for everybody. Um, so that's the location, desktops, and by one and two, um, I'm going to use connection uh, 2.63. I check this box. If I'm using connection 3.0, I don't need to check that box. This connection will install that for me. Um, click the install, and then it's going to prompt me for um, user uh, permissions. And so I'll just hit OK, and then it's going to go ahead and install um, as an administrator because I told it to install across. Um, uh, the reason I, uh, the expectation there is once the, the installation is finished and it's installed across for all users, um, in addition to the application being installed, all of the COM components will get registered. We'll show you what that means in a second. So the program goes ahead and does its install. Application finishes, uh, and then you can click on uh, the script. The script is um, an application, a very simple application that just basically uh, talks to Mark Edit's com object, generates a request to the Library of Congress, um, and then pulls back a record. So we can see that that's working, um, generates a Mark file. So everything worked on the installation, and so that's what we ended up having to do. So again, for the consolidated build, um, the build that's been um, the, the mixed build here, which is put out in, uh, has been the version that's been available since market at 7.5 has been released. Um, the application does include both user only and administrative installation types. Um, the biggest difference really, like I said, is that in order for the application to run on a system that's never had market at um, the market at 7.5 system installed, um, you will likely have to install the .NET uh, 5.0 runtimes because those aren't a part of Windows by default. Once they've been installed, Windows will manage them because they're considered a, um, a, a Windows component and they'll manage it the same way that they manage Office updates. Um, but the initial install um, has to be managed by the application. And that would be if those haven't been installed, say like an administrator in your organization hasn't installed them first, or um, you haven't installed them up front, then when Mark Edit's install runs, it will prompt you for administrative rights at the very beginning of the application uh, when you first start it in order to install those dependencies. And if you tell it um, no, and you continue with the installation process, the program won't run because those dependencies won't be. So I'm going to go ahead and close this off. Um, I will be uh, showing here shortly. Um, show uh, there'll be another video that shows the um, the difference in the self-contained solution.